We're here with Max Brown. So I want to ask you, stepping into this and being a little bit of a, a stirring the pot in this film, yeah. how did that feel? Well, it's always it's always fun playing a you know an interesting pot stirrer as you call them. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it was intimidating to join an established cast like this, but everyone made it so such a, a lovely experience. They really did. And did you stay in character even when you weren't on on uh, on duty? Let's say. No, no, I'm not a method actor <laughs> not in that sense. And with this this lot, it'd be hard anyway. They have so much fun. I think because they've done the show together for so long, they. You know, set environment was so relaxed and we did great work, but we also had a great time and that's, you know, the key to our industry, I think. Now I have to ask this one, Downton Abbey movie? How about a Royals movie? Well, who knows? <laughs> yeah, maybe. We could finish off that storyline too, couldn't we? Yeah. yeah, we left that off. <laughs> I know, I get a lot of questions about what I said in that and I, I can't answer, you know, that's, that's the problem. I only have my answer and I'm not sure that complies with who wrote it, so we'll see. And how about, did you get to keep anything from the set, or would you have wanted to keep something of yours? From Danton? No, unfortunately not. They're, they're, uh, definitely the costumes are pretty cool, you know, there's, there's no denying that. There was a hat that I wore, which, yeah, I think if I could have stolen anything, it would have been that. I was going to say the hat. Yeah. <laughs> the hat for sure. yeah. And also the storyline that you're in is actually a really important storyline. Yeah, I think it's, it's quite a modern take on... Um, how things should be and and kind of looking looking ahead at, at what eventually you know the world came to its senses really you know and um, I think Julian's written a beautiful kind of portrayal of that and it reminds us of how it was and how lucky we kind of are to come this Obviously, far the amount of people that lived in shame over something that was natural and and that had to hide their true sexuality it was just so sad you know that they were penalized for that and, you know, we're lucky that we live in the world that we live in now. Thank you so much.